welcome back to the channel. For today's video we have yet another Karen household and I'm gonna be showing you my sim Amanda. I've been playing with her for a while now and yeah just so you guys can get a peek into her life because um, yeah I asked her on Twitter what kind of videos you would like to see and a lot of you recommended a Karen household and even like another cast video that will be coming soon as well. So yeah, today we're gonna be seeing my sim Amanda. I've been playing with her for a while and I'm honestly, that was kind of loud. I'm honestly enjoying uh, her gameplay a lot. So let's just jump in. Today's Winterfest, which is very exciting. Uh, Amanda is just over here cooking a little bit, a little bit. Uh, warm by his heart. Harking back to a classic era, I'm gonna like this warm quirky choice, should she confess? Um, that usually whenever it comes to styling, I tend to go with no, because I don't want them to be upset if I dress them a certain way, or if they see someone dress a certain way, so I really prefer not to give them a preference when it comes to style, so I'm gonna say no. Uh, but yeah, she's just making some pancakes. Let me lower the volume, because that is so loud. Um, but yeah, she's just making some pancakes and this is Winterfest. I was thinking that maybe we can invite some of our close friends. Um, we have Serenity, Darlene, Peter, Summer, and I think I'm gonna also invite Jamal because it's Darlene's husband. Um, and actually guys, you're seeing here John and Diwata and those are actually, um, Amanda's parents. I really didn't think through their careers because I thought that if I was able to get the the Sims for rent, uh, they're gonna go live in Tomorang. I think that's how you say the world's name. And I was actually gonna move Amanda there, but uh, as far as now, which is today that I'm recording, which is earlier than what you guys are gonna be seeing this video, I haven't won the giveaway yet. Uh, I'm just really hoping that I win it because I've been participating in a lot of giveaways. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm sorry about the spam with giveaways. Um, but yeah, I hope, hopefully I'll win one or maybe at some point I'll be able to get it. Um, if you don't know guys, I don't like getting into politics and stuff like that, but I'm from Argentina and currently the economy here is pretty bad. And to add like for some medical issues, I had to drop my job, so I can't afford it sadly, but yeah, it doesn't matter. We can still have a lot of fun. But I did like I did like the idea of uh, just in case, you know, prepping her family and stuff. Because if I was able to get the pack, I would have loved to move her there. But it's okay. We can still play with her here, and I'll think something different for her family. But yeah, I thought it would be nice to have her parents anyway. Because whenever she has kids and stuff, I definitely want them to, you know, visit. You know their grandkids and obviously her and like all that stuff but um we have we have a lot to cover because i've been playing a lot and there's a lot of things going on in um uh, amanda's life so let's just let her do her thing we're also gonna go ahead and put up the decorations like look how cute i love her house it looks so cute and as you can see we have like a free space i think i'm gonna actually use this today to put the christmas tree and all that because we clearly don't have space here uh, but I was thinking about doing this as a guest room and hopefully in the future like a child's room uh, If we if we stay in this house, obviously, uh, but I really like it. it's very simple and I kind of started from scratch with her and I have to admit it was so much fun because I was able to slowly upgrade her beautiful house and I think it's decorated pretty nicely and we have a couple pictures and other things Okay, but let me tell you a bit about Amanda um let's go here no never mind over here she is clumsy she's proper she's a bookworm and she actually discovered that she's quite cheerful self-assured and loyal like she discovered a lot of traits and because she wants to find a soulmate because i feel like she she's a very romantic sim she always loved fairy tales and like you know true love so she's like a little bit alluring because of this aspiration, which is always nice. And she has the always welcome because I want her to be able to cook at other people's places without any issues and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we have a couple of mi milestones here. And we actually got promoted. She had her, her, her first woohoo, uh, the self discoveries, uh, you know, she got a job. And here you can see that Amanda fell in love with Charles Scott. 
uh, she started a relationship with Scott. Oh, our mom is calling us. Uh, let's say, to be honest, I'm not sure. She was asking about hanging out with someone. Um, she started a romantic relationship with Travis. Then she became best friends with Summer. Summer is her bestie, Summer Holiday. We love her. And she ended our relationship with Travis because actually they were all hanging here for Thanksgiving. And as you can see, she's not friends anymore with... Uh, what was her name? I keep forgetting with Liberty uh, because Travis flirted with her in front of Amanda and I didn't even notice. I realized way later because of a mood led and I was like, oh no, we're not gonna deal with this. So if you follow me on Tumblr, I actually decided to go with a storyline pretending that um, Summer came running home telling her all the deets about how Travis has been flirting behind her back with Liberty. So Amanda obviously didn't like this at all because she was really in love with Travis and decided to break up with him. Uh, surprisingly, they have a pretty good relationship still, which is interesting to say the least because I definitely thought they were gonna kind of hate each other. But yeah, she was very heartbroken. She was very sad for a long while and she actually met Serenity. Uh, she's an art critic, so they kind of vibe with this whole thing about, you know, writing and arts because, of, of course, I forgot to tell you, but she's a writer and she's been doing really good. She's been selling a lot of books and that's why she's actually gaining a lot of fame. And I just wanted to go with it because it's been a while since I played with a famous sim. So I was like, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but Serenity... Sorry, guys, this is so very over the place. I'm so sorry. But Serenity actually has a brother and his name is Peter and... He is a doctor, and I have to say, as you may see, they have like the lovebirds, and that's because there was a spark there that I don't know why Amanda, like, autonomously decided that she kind of didn't like him as much anymore because she kept like rejecting him. But there was like a little bit of a thing going on between them, which I think is kind of interesting. I feel like they kind of have a crush on each other. But, I don't know, Amanda hasn't been wanting to pursue it, so I'm not pushing it. But I think he would be a really good sim for her, because Peter is so nice, he's loyal, he's active, and he's family-oriented. And I feel like that's something that Amanda would absolutely love. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think it's gonna be kind of fun to see what happens with that. But, you may see here that she actually has a picture with him hang up here. and. They're so cute. I don't know. I just like them a lot, but we'll see what happens. And then she's also friends with Darlene and Jamal because they are like her neighbors. They literally live right over here. So they're like neighbors. And I think I moved Peter and Serenity over here. Uh, so yeah, they're all like kind of neighbors because Summer also lives here and Travis and Liberty. So like they're all pretty close by. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and buy a couple things for Winterfest. We need to start decorating. So let's go ahead and filter this through these seasons and I'll just place a couple items and I'll see you guys after that. So I don't bore you to death with my indecisive self. <laughs> hey guys, I put a couple decorations. You can see there in the door. I love the little reef. I think that's how they're called. And then I went ahead and put like a little bit of decorations inside, not that much. Uh, but I think it looks pretty nice and oh, we got some money from our books. That is awesome um, And yeah, this is probably like the saddest little room ever, but I said to place this here because <laughs> why not? Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and plan our event. Let's have a dinner uh, with our friends or like a Yeah, a dinner party. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna be the host obviously and let's invite Peter, Darlene, Serenity, Summer and Jamal, I'm not gonna invite the parents because I don't know. I feel like they live somewhere else, so she's gonna spend it away from her her parents. Uh, but she has all her friends coming, um, so yeah, let's do that. And then it's gonna be at her house, and I guess we can do it at like 2 p.m. I feel like that's a nice time. Uh, but yeah, guys, I've been having a lot of fun with Amanda. Um, I've done so many things with her. And I'm just so happy with it, honestly. Oh, wait, I actually want the white and gold. God, this I'm gonna start decorating the, the tree. Uh, ooh, 
no tree skirt white and gold uh, but yeah, I've been I've been having a lot of fun because she even went to Granite Falls with Travis uh, she actually has uh, the pictures saved over here because you know it just brings back a couple of sad memories for her so we don't want to be constantly reminding her about her past relationship and uh, she's actually picked up like a new hobby which is knitting and I think that's kind of fun because she has a lot of skills I've been doing like a lot of things with her uh, which is kind of fun like see she knows how to play the violin she loves playing the piano as well I kind of want her to get better at that that's why we have it like right there uh, so yeah basically I've been doing a lot of things that I haven't done in a while with other sims and I've been having so much fun honestly um, what should we do? Popcorn and cranberries? Okay, I guess. I never do that, so <laughs> let's try something different. And oh yeah, she actually won an award for one of her poetry books, and I think that's awesome. It made me so happy because um, I went to the event totally expecting for her not to win, and she did, and it was like awesome. It was so much fun. And we have an autograph by Judith Worth, of course, because we met her there, so we were like, hey, can you give us your autograph? And she accepted. And another thing that I've been doing as well, which has been fun, I've been making her do some puzzles and I've been keeping them and framing them because I feel like they add a, a bit of like wall decor that we don't have by accessing the build and buy menu, unless you cheat, I'm guessing. Uh, so it's been really nice to have that and I love this one with the tulips, uh, you know, from the Netherlands, I'm guessing. It is beautiful. I love that so much. Uh, but yeah, we're just decorating the tree and not much else is going on today because i haven't done although we broke we wrote the books we're gonna get a promotion soon well that was actually kind of pretty i feel like it's kind of silly to have popcorns and cranberries but it looks cute uh let's see ornaments let's do yellow and white to see how that looks and okay good we're doing the winter fest things here that we need to do we're gonna have to cook a big uh, lunch or dinner as well for our friends and of course we're gonna add presents because I feel like she loves giving to people um, this, those are the vibes that Amanda gives me and it's just so nice um, did she finish decorating it? no she's still doing that okay um, but yeah I've been having a lot of fun I've also been giving her a lot of outfits and with the whole famous thing I wasn't sure to do it in the beginning, um, but you know, I haven't played with a famous sim in so long that I thought it would be fun and I've been actually purchasing a couple of these things. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Fan favorite. As a celebrity, Amanda will cultivate an army of fans that will have her back and who will be at her beck and call. Never heard that phrase. Uh, she'll be able to ask any fan to sign up boost their fame or reputation. I don't know if she really cares about the fame. Oh, we definitely will be giving back. I feel like she loves uh, giving back to the people. And we have quite the money built up already. So I wouldn't mind donating. Uh, but it says giving back, gain reputation, even faster donate objects to fans for fame. Amanda's good reputation has helped her establish a foothold in the public eye as a charitable and kind celebrity. Having built her fame upon a bedrock of positivity, she'll now get reputation even faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's kind of cool. We can kind of donate our stuff uh, to fans and donate money as well. So I guess I'll do that. Um, but I personally don't feel like she really cares about the fame. I feel like Amanda is a very down-to-earth kind of sim. And she probably wouldn't really care about like losing her fame that's just kind of the vibe she gives me honestly because at the end of the day she just wants to be able to do her books and you know be just happy and not care about what people think and have her like little family and be happy so honestly if she ever loses her fame i won't really care and even if she gets more famous like a five star celebrity like an a-lister i I probably won't care either, like I don't think I'll ever give her like a very- Oh! <laughs> Serenity has called, talked to us. Hey, what's up Amanda? I know this is your name. Oh, this is typical when you get famous. 
Um, what was I saying? Um, that I won't even give her like the expensive type of lifestyle, like a big mansion or anything of the sort. Because I just feel like that doesn't go with her, to be honest. I feel like she's more of a relaxed. Oh my god, we need to start cooking. Because we have an hour till people are here. Uh, I'm going to do a tofu turkey. Because I think some of our friends are vegetarians and I don't want to feed them actual meat. <laughs> so let's do that. Uh, but our friends already came earlier. Uh, let's bring her day and be like, hey, what's up? You came early. <laughs> like, you're supposed to be here in an hour. But it doesn't matter. We're still gonna be happy that she's here. Um, but you guys, like I said, I'm so sorry if everything is all over the place. I feel like I'm talking about a million things at the same time. So I'm very sorry if it is a little bit confusing. Um, but I've been having so, so much fun. And let's actually uh, see what her lifestyles are like because I honestly haven't been paying attention to this. So apparently we are in Dorsey and I think I kind of agree. I have been making her go out a lot more, but I feel like she's just a sim that prefers to have people over and like stay in rather than going out. And I relate to that, so I'm not gonna judge her. <laughs> and yeah, she's been single for a while now. Um, I feel like Amanda, kind of has been afraid to you know get out in the pool again after travis because you know like travis cheated on her so it's kind of hard to want to be out there and trying again because i feel like she would be afraid of that happening again so she just needs to find the right man who will show her that you can trust him and that nothing would happen nothing like that will happen again um but she's just single and loving it and it and honestly, I think I want to just let her be because she has been very happy with just her friends and enjoying life and not taking things very seriously, even though she really wants to find the one. But sometimes finding the one takes time. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think I'm going to see you guys when everyone arrives. So we have a more interesting scene going on. Um, but yeah. I think I'm gonna show you that guys and maybe we're gonna be done because I don't know what else to show you but hopefully we're gonna have a fine time with everyone over here and open the gifts and have like a nice cute winter fest. Okay guys we have our dinner ready, our guests are arriving. I tried setting the table but I don't know why she couldn't set the other. Uh, it doesn't matter though we don't even have that much space for everyone to be sitting and eating um, but let's just call everyone to the grand meal so we can eat and then we can chat with everyone and you guys i've been noticing something i don't know if it's a glitch or anything of the sort like a bug or something but all the sims that come to my house they keep grabbing that goddamn yogurt <laughs> like i had summer over for like a sleepover and i kid you not she wouldn't stop eating yogurt i'm like what is going on also, I decided to turn this on because I'm afraid of my sims dying from the cold and I don't want that because I love every single one of these people and I need them in <laughs> Amanda's life. Like seriously guys, I've never been this invested in my sims friends or in my sim in such a long time. Like I would be so sad if anything happens to them that I even went ahead and um went and disable like the neighborhood changes for them or the stories i don't know how it's called because i don't want them to die i don't want them to move away i don't want them to find partners like break up or anything like i want to manage them on my own because that's how much i love them um but yeah darlene and and um jamal actually have kids but uh i haven't went to their house to introduce myself to them i think Yep, we don't know their kids, uh, so I should definitely be doing that soon. But look at them all hanging out together, like it's so cute. She has such a great uh, group of friends, like it makes me so happy. Because sometimes when I play, I know about you guys, I struggle to actually make my sims be consistent with their social life. Uh, so with Amanda being single and all that, I've been doing really good uh, keeping them all together and you know her going out and like actually doing stuff instead of just rushing into things and finding her a partner right away so i was actually very happy in a way that um travis decided to flirt with another sim and and you know he give he gave me the opportunity of 
this whole storyline of him cheating and all that kind of thing. So I, so I'm very happy that I, that that happened actually, because it made everything more fun and interesting. And I, in the beginning, was thinking about keeping Travis as the one for Amanda, because I really thought they made a cute pair. Um, but yeah, the game decided differently for me, and I love that because I love when the game does unpredictable stuff like this because it changes the course of what you have in mind and in the end it made me have so much fun so i definitely do recommend going with that sometimes if you're not sure what to do with your game um because really i started this with just an idea that she was gonna be a writer and that summer was gonna be her best friend and the rest the game kind of started happening and oh someone someone fought with someone i saw did you see that? I saw the... <laughs> oh my god! I saw the, the sentiment. Was it with me? No. <gasps> oh, someone someone fought with each other because she's very upset. Darlene is angry. I wonder what happened. Oh my god. Can I... <sighs> I wish I could find out. Literally, I wish I could find out because I'm so nosy when it comes to stuff. Like, what happened? Who fought with who? Did maybe Jamal through with someone else and I didn't notice? Like, what happened? I need to know. <laughs> um, but you guys, I think you should definitely let the game, you know, decide what you're going to do next. Because it's been so much fun for me, honestly. And I think you guys could have a lot of fun as well. So yeah, I if you're stuck with what you want to do for gameplay, definitely try and see what the game brings along. Because that's what I've been doing and it's been very fun. And I've been really enjoying my gameplay. Okay, guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna be ending this, and I decided to bring everyone here to open presents all together and see what we get for fun. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Um, so yeah, I brought them all here so we can see. Oh, Darlene is so upset. I'm so curious about what happened. Um, but yeah, I brought them all together. Let's see. Let's open some gifts. Oh, she didn't like that. No, oh, that's too bad. Oh, poor Summer. What are we gonna get? I'm so curious about that. Let's see. Oh, Darlene is so upset. Oh my god. Let's see. Is it good? I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Oh, it seems to be good. What do we get? What do we get? What is it? Oh no, she didn't like it. Oh. I thought she did. What happened? Didn't she like it? Perfect present. Why was she crying just now? I am so confused. What do we get? Are you kidding me? Did we get this? No, I don't think so. That's our love stovers. What did we get? Did we even get anything? Oh my god, I have... Why do I have food? <laughs> okay. I'll be deleting that. Um, did we even get something or not? I'm so confused. Um, well, I don't know what we got. I don't think it's this. Yeah, no, I don't think it's that. Okay, guys. Well, that was a little bit confusing. I'm sorry about that. That was underwhelming. I thought she was gonna get something good. Oh, but they're all having such a good time opening the presents together. That is so cute. Uh, but you guys, I hope you've enjoyed my current household, what's going on with my sim. Um, I've been having- oh sorry guys, that's probably very annoying. Um, <laughs> I've been having so so much fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry if it was all over the place, there were just so many things to talk about and tell you guys about Amanda. Um, but yeah. Let me know down in the comments below what's your current household and what you've been up to in the game because I feel like that's going to be so much fun to know. I love hearing about other people's current households and I love watching Kara's current households as well. So please let me know all the details of your Sims families and what is going on with them. And yeah guys, thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye!